E3 is one of, if not the most important gaming event of the year. Every year can include incredible reveals to upcoming games and consoles. So with no E3 for nearly two years now, what do I want to see from E3 2021? Here will be my list on the main things I want to see from E3. But you know me guys, so these picks will be primarily Nintendo products. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch desperately needs a better version that improves all of its problems. Solve the Joy-Con drift, make a better dock so the screen won't be scratched, and have built-in Bluetooth for wireless audio devices. There should also be a better screen, and can they just make the Joy-Cons not minuscule? Like even when the Switch first released, they were tiny out of the box. I think this system should retail more than a regular Switch, but should be less than 400. So I'd say around 360. There should also be a price drop for the regular Switch. If this were to be announced, I think a good time to release it would be around early 2022 or nothing later than summer of said year. Also, if this is announced, please don't expect this to be as powerful as the Xbox Series X or the PS5. The Switch is portable after all. Jesus Christ man, why haven't we gotten a new Mario Kart since 2014? That's 7 years and there's never been that big of a gap with any other two Mario Karts. You could say, oh, what about Mario Kart Tour, but that's a spin-off Mario Kart game and also, it's bad. This is why we need a new Mario Kart on the Switch. Sure, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is good, but it's still a 7 year old game that doesn't have the best online and can do with a sequel. Mario Kart 9 should just be a new Mario Kart and that's all we want. Bring back Mission Mode, the classic battle mode, and something new. Maybe something like the Adventure Mode in Diddy Kong Racing. Make sure to also bring back Funky Kong into the character roster. This is bound to be shown during the event and should be the highlight. A Nintendo Direct earlier on in 2021 told us that the game would be shown later on in the year, so it will probably be shown at E3. Honestly, I'm not too sure on what I want this game to be. Is it the same map but at a different time, or is it a brand new map? The E3 2019 trailer showed us a bit of information on what it could be, so I guess we just need to wait. I've mentioned before that the Switch doesn't have that Nintendo charm that the other consoles have. E3 could have Nintendo revealing a big software update with many things like menu management, menu music, removing friend codes, adding menu themes, and having menu folders. I think features like this should be added to make the Switch more exciting and give it more personality. The Switch has just always felt like the Nintendo console that wasn't made by Nintendo, but instead was giving the Nintendo branding. Like, why isn't Spotify or Netflix on the Switch? Wouldn't it just make sense having a platform where you could listen to music while playing video games on the go to be an app on the system? Same with Netflix, you could download films and watch them on the go on your Switch. More apps and quality of life improvements could make the Switch way more accessible to use. With the new Mario Golf game releasing soon, it would be cool to see another sports game come to the Switch. We already have golf and tennis, so why not an old one like football or basketball? I recently bought Mario Hoops 3 on 3, oh wait, Mario Slam Basketball on the DS, and it's a great time. Not too many people actually talk about this game, but if you have a DS, definitely get this one because it's quite underrated. A sequel to this or Striker's Charge would be great. Mario Tennis Aces is fine, I guess, and Super Rush looks promising. Maybe another Mario Baseball game could be announced. Pokemon has been my favourite series on the Switch, and that's from a remake that's extremely underwhelming. The announcement of the Gen 4 remakes, and Ocarina Time Trees, but at least Legends Arceus is coming in 2022 and looks quite promising. I think they should announce Generation 9 during E3 and tell everyone that it's not too long into development. We don't want another rush Pokemon game on the Switch, so it is very essential that they don't mess this up again. If the next Pokemon games are good, I will be beyond happy because I think the series is very hit and miss at the moment. I started playing Pokemon Black a while ago and it is one of the best DS games out there. It's miles above the new Pokemon game, so I think it is time for Pokemon to return to its former glory with two groundbreaking entries. I can't describe this bit too much since I'm not the biggest Metroid fan, but I think they have to reveal Metroid Prime 4 soon because if they don't, then many people are going to lose hope in the game actually releasing. Metroid is also the series that I want to get into, but nothing's really truly motivated me to actually play it. Revealing this game could change that though. Back in February, we got Bowser's Fury and there's a fun little game to play through. The word little is very apparent though, because this is a very short game. It introduced a new formula to the Mario series that should not be discarded. Using this in the next Mario game, but on a way bigger scale, could be absolutely amazing. If something like this doesn't come out, then we'll probably need to root for Odyssey 2. If Super Mario Odyssey 2 was being made, then I'd say it'd be released soon enough considering that the first game was released in 2017. Also guys, please just accept that Galaxy 3 won't happen. Don't be put off by this, as I feel the exact same way, but it's extremely unlikely. All we need is a brand new 3D Mario game for the Switch that is as big as Super Mario Odyssey.
That's all I have to say about E3 2021. Hopefully at least one of these will be announced and if a few of them are, well, that's just great. Make sure to let me know what you want to see this E3. But honestly, I could see how this will go. Hi Nintendo fans, Reggie here. Yes, I'm back with Nintendo and I'm here to announce our plans for the future. We will be cancelling all future projects to primarily work on the game you all want to see, 1-2 Switch Definitive Edition. This game will have it all including menus and even colours. It will start at 7550 in local stores on the 31st of August. Thank you everyone. F*** Dog Bowser. <laughs>